Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Ken Woods. I'm the conductor of the English Symphony Orchestra and I'm very excited to welcome you all to our first composer portrait. Today we explore and celebrate the music of Stephen R. Gerber, American composer who died much too young in 2015. I expect that the vast majority of you will be encountering his music in this program for the first time, so I thought it'd be helpful just to give you a few guideposts to his musical language. Uh, Stephen's music is extremely direct and communicative. It's full of big emotions, which are expressed with a great deal of craft and invention. Uh, like most composers of his generation, he was schooled in serialism and high modernism as a young man, but in the 1980s, he turned away from that language towards something more symphonic, much more grounded in traditional forms. And you see in his later work a focus on the great uh, genres which have sustained symphonic music since the age of Mozart and Haydn, the symphony, the string quartet, the concerto. And uh, what we have tonight is primarily a program of his chamber works, which have been arranged and orchestrated by wonderful composers Darren Hagen and Adrian Williams at the request of the Stephen R. Gerber Trust. So in Gerber, you've got a composer who has at his fingertips the complete vocabulary of the music of the last hundred years or so. Uh, towards the end of his life, he became something of a cult figure in Russia. And I think that's uh, quite understandable. There is something in his music that doesn't sound like Shostakovich, but has that sort of Russian intensity, directness, sense of scale and drama that we think of with many of the great Russian composers of the 20th century, most notably Shostakovich, but also people like Mayakovsky, Prokofiev, and so on. It's lyrical, it's direct, it's powerful, it's dramatic. And I think you'll find that in all of these pieces. Uh, another traditional form, which means a great deal to Stephen Gerber, is the theme in variations. And there are themes and variations in most of the works you're going to hear tonight. There's an incredible slow movement in the first work tonight, the Piano Quintet, which has been orchestrated by Darren Hagen as Sinfonietta Number no. 1. It's marked mesto, uh, sad, and this is just absolutely powerful, heartbreaking, dark music, very much in the spirit of one of the late Bartok string quartets, perhaps. Those, those very, very intense, inward-looking slow movements that Bartok wrote in the latter part of his life. Uh, and certainly Bartok is another good touchstone for some of this music. In the first movement of the piano quintet, on the other hand, you hear something that's spiky or a little more angular, still maybe closer to that modernist world that he grew up in, uh, and orchestrated by Darren in a kind of Stravinskyan brilliance with a lot of spike and sparkle. <laughs> string orchestra works on this are arrangements of his fourth and sixth string quartets. These works are from fairly far apart in his career. Uh, the fourth quartet from the early 1990s, the sixth quartet from 2012, written uh, not long after the death of his longtime partner. And touchingly, the sixth quartet begins with a very, very stormy, passionate, fast movement. Uh, which pushes the orchestra really to the edge of what's possible. Lots of repeated quivering semiquavers, which uh, wear the hand out very quickly, um, and, and, and passionate outbursts of melodic intensity, and then a very gentle theme in variations at the end, the last one of which is marked uh, Rest in Peace.
the fourth quartet is uh, a whimsical work in some ways. Very, very beautiful, almost Copeland-esque first movement. And then uh, in the heart of the piece is a, a movement that's almost in the spirit of something like uh, Shostakovich eighth or tenth quartets, one of these fast, explosive movements that never really lets up. <laughs> In the middle of tonight's program, we feature Emily Davis, who guest-led this program for the orchestra. Uh, she's a wonderful, wonderful young English violinist, and she plays uh, the only work tonight which is not a uh, world premiere. This is the two lyric pieces for violin and strings. Again, one of Stephen Gerber's later works from the early 2000s, and uh, it's an absolutely gorgeous piece, um, and it shows Gerber maybe nodding towards things like a little whimsical waltz, a little bit of a hint of a tango, and it ends with a very beautiful passacaglia. The final work on tonight's program is Gerber's fifth string quartet. It's the longest of his string quartets and orchestrated here for the largest forces in the program by our composer and association, Adrian Williams, who also orchestrated the two string symphonias you will have already heard. Uh, this is a really thrilling and very, very satisfying work. Uh, the first movement is uh, really symphonic, I think, uh, and, and it suits the orchestra very well. It's, it's extrovert, it's powerful, it's energetic. so exciting to record. This was the first time since the COVID outbreak that we had pretty much the entire ESO together, still socially distanced and all of that, but to see our complete wonderful woodwind team all together, to have our tubist Ian Foster on stage with us again, it was just so emotional to have the whole, whole group together. And I think you can hear uh, a lot of passion in their playing uh, as they revel in, in being reunited after so many months apart. Uh, again, Gerber gives us one of these great theme and variations movements, but this one is wicked and macabre, it's sort of a totem taunts, a dance of death, uh, with a little bit of uh, Halloween black humor in it. It's a real tour de force of composition, but also, I think, very funny in a wonderfully sort of grotesque and, and dark way. And then somehow out of all of this, he manages to work his way back to the music of the opening movement, giving the whole work a wonderful sort of symmetry 
as the theme of the opening movement ends the piece and this celebration of this uh, American master uh, in the most exuberant spirit possible. I hope you enjoy getting to know the music of Stephen R. Gerber as much as we have enjoyed discovering it in the sessions uh, that led to the concert you're going to hear. There's lots more of his music to be found on disc and there's links on our web page to his website where you can learn a lot more about this remarkable figure. So without further ado, I hope you enjoy the program and thank you very much for your support of the English Symphony Orchestra. <laughs> 